Hello, hello again, my T and Tarot family. This is going to be a general read, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what does, leave what doesn't, guys, okay? Energy is full, so feel free to flip it, switch it, put yourself where you fit up in it. And last but not least, any pronoun that I use, he, she, her, him. Speaking of masculine or feminine energy, unless otherwise stated, guys, okay? This is going to be for my people in separation, okay? This is what your person wants to say to you. My people in separation, no contact, no communication, maybe blocked on all platforms. You may have blocked your person, your person may have blocked you. Let's see what's going on, where their energy is, what they want to say. For my people who are not in communication, in separation from their person at this time. Thank you. Name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let me cut that again. Okay. I sure did. Okay, Spirit, so what message do we have for the collective today from their person who they are not talking to? So straight out the box, it was the unsent message card, which is letting me know that your person just jumped all up in here. They want you to know they're here, and this is how they really feel, Okay. They said, look, I will travel for a day to spend one minute with you. Okay, so I do feel like your person may be missing you at this time. What else do they want to say? Look, they want to come home. I told you. They want to come home. Or they want you to come home. What else do they want to say at this time? It says, you never fought for me, didn't even try. So this person feels like you didn't fight for the relationship, you didn't fight for them, that you didn't even put in the effort to try to save it or fix it. For some of you guys, I feel like this wasn't the first time they've done some fucked up shit. And, and, and you just was like, no, I'm done. Huh. It says, my love comes with no terms or conditions, just boundaries. I feel like the person feels like your love comes with boundaries. They know that you don't have any terms or conditions, but you do have boundaries. And they know they overstep these boundaries, okay? Okay, so this person also knows that time is of the essence and the clock is ticking. They know they need to do something soon, quickly, okay? Where are we going? Arcana, tarot, okay. Let's jump in here and see what the tarot wants to say. On top of this wonderful, wonderful message that we have from our people that are in separation. Okay, so this person knows that they need to jump on it. They need to get their shit together. If they want this, they need to come towards you now, okay? Because I do feel like they realize now that you are something valuable. And if somebody else, you know, that somebody else will see your value and come swoop you up here. Man or woman, okay? But they want to come to you. They want to come home, okay? Uh, they're tired of being in separation here. They feel like you never fought for them, though. You didn't even try. Or maybe they didn't fight for you, okay? They didn't even try. They know that they, know that they didn't fight for you. They didn't put in the effort. And the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I do need to jump. I would travel for days to spend one minute with you. Huh. Told you. There was some big ass change. This person wants to change. Okay. They they are ready to make a drastic change if they need to. Okay. There was a there was a big drastic change, or they're they're ready to make the drastic change so they can come home. Tell me more about I would travel to you. And it's so crazy. There's a turn tornado up there at the top, right? So, I don't know why I thought of Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, but I feel like traveling there, okay? This person has a lot of regret. You may live somewhere that has a lot of tornadoes. Um, what's it called? Tornado Alley. Um, that may be significant to you. Some of you guys may live in the desert where there's a lot of rocks. Um, a lot of rocks, a lot of desert plants here. Some of you guys may even live in Greece or near the Colosseum, somewhere that has monuments with like that kind of remind you of Greek architecture here. But um, this person has a lot of regret, a lot of sadness, a lot of hurt about how things went down about this tower moment. Okay, tell me more. Yeah, this person wants their happiness back. I feel like they feel like you were their happiness. And they, they, the sun, the, the best part of the deck, they want to fix this. 
Tell me one more for I would travel for days to spend one minute with you. Anything else for I would travel for days to spend one minute with you? Yeah, so this person is watching you, okay? Any social media, they could be stalking. Um, but they're very regretful about this tower moment that went down. Shit blew up, okay? Shit blew up, and I feel like you blew this shit up for your happiness here. So now they're sitting back and they're watching. And they want to come home. Clarify, come home, spirit. Yep, they see a future with you. They feel like you are their future. There is no, <laughs> there is no future without you. Tell me more about come home, spirit. Clarify, come home. Yep. Can't make it up. They want to reconcile, babies. Okay, this could be a soulmate. It just could be somebody from your past that wants to come back. But they see a future here and they want to come back and be with you. Tell me more about come home. Yep, they want to take this leap of faith towards you here. <laughs> and they want reconciliation. You bring them happiness and joy, babies. Okay, so tell me more about this separation. You never fought for me, didn't even try. Right, the moon, okay? So there was some type of secret, something that was not seen. Something that was not said, okay? This person feels like there was something hidden. You didn't even listen to your intuition. This person didn't listen to their intuition about you. I feel like they knew, but they... they... Mm. Could be a cancer here, Pisces here. But I feel like things were, things were not completely illuminated here in this situation. Tell me more. You never fought for me. Didn't even try. Yeah. So this person feels like you just walked away. There may have been some secrets here. Um, and because of the secret, you just threw your guard up. You threw your guard up and you just you just exited here. Tell me more about you never fought for me. You didn't even try, spirit. Clarify you never fought for me. Right. You just ended it, okay? So this person feels like that, like you didn't even put an effort in. Okay, whatever the deception was that came out, whatever was illuminated here, the secrets, you threw your guard up and you put an end to it and you just walked away. You didn't try to fix it. You didn't try to work on it. Nothing. You was just done. Huh? Because your intuition had already been telling you that something wasn't right. So when you did um, get your confirmation that shit wasn't right, you just walked out and you ended this. Now this person wants to come back and transform it, but they feel like you just blocked them and, and ended it walked away there was no no fight no love okay they see you shining now see you single focused on your finances looking good looking beautiful making this money come together right so it says my love comes with no terms or conditions just boundaries clarify that for me okay yeah so this person is coming in slow they do want to bring stability here okay like i said they may be saying that their love comes with no terms or conditions they might just have boundaries they feel like you have boundaries here but this this is when they do get here this is the most stable night of them all. They're just very slow moving. Take their time to come in. My love comes with no terms or conditions, just boundaries. Yeah. <laughs> so I do feel like this person that went from the Knight of Pentacles to now the King of Pentacles, okay? They could have been the Knight in the past, um, moving slow. Now they're standing in their, in their power here, okay? They know who they are now. They elevated, they awakened here, okay? They went from a knight to a king. Come through, baby. And I feel like their money might have picked up for them as well. Right, six of pentacles. Now they want to have an equal give and take here. They could have possibly been given to more than one in the past, up to two or three or four, and your intuition told you that, and that's why you put an end to this. You set your boundaries because you refused to be um, one of the many. Right, eight of swords. You threw your guard up and you blocked them out. Tell me more, spirit. Yeah, now this person wants to come in and offer you something long-term, stable, and committed here. They want the marriage. They want the stability. They want something to build, right? And they're going to come in quickly. They're either going to travel towards you or they're going to send you some type of message, okay, babies? So this person that you're in separation with, they're going to reach out. They're going to come back towards you. Time is of the essence. The clock is ticking. This person does not want to fight anymore. This person feels like you are a soulmate or a divine connection. They want equal give and take and love here. And now they want to invest. They want to come in and put the work in. And they know they need to, okay? Anything else for my wonderful collective? Yes, yeah, so this person's going to come in 
and make you an offer. They're going to come back in and they're going to make this offer. They want to fix this, guys, okay? person wants to come in and reconcile. They do not want this to be over. So whoever you're in separation from, yep, they're coming to bring you this offer of love here. A brand new offer of stability and an offer of love. They feel like you're home. And they want to come home. Huh. And they're manifesting this with you. Okay? <laughs> they're manifesting this. They're calling you in. They're calling this relationship in. Right? They want to heal this. Could be dealing with um, Aquarius here. A Gemini. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Air. Oh, we got um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here as well. So we have... Um, is everybody here? I think everybody might be here. Fire, Earth, everybody's here. So it, it could be anybody, guys, okay? But this person is going to come in and, and, and want to make some type of romantic offer, some type of romantic gesture here. Okay, towards some type of emotional stability here because they choose you. They, they are in love with you and they want to balance things out with you, with you. They want to bring justice to you. Okay, they're no longer juggling and they're hoping that luck is on their side when they come in and make this apology towards you. And they're coming in quickly. They hope that you let your guards down even though they know that they stabbed you in the back. This time they want to come in and put in the work, okay? They know that they were lying, sneaky, and deceptive in the past about making this offer, Okay? Of love to you but now they've gotten the strength up and they're ready to persevere and they're coming back as the Emperor they want to return so they can build this ten of Pentacles with you something long-term stable and committed they want to have this teamwork they know that you are their wish fulfillment okay and they want to heal your heart they know you broke your heart they want to give you some truths here okay they want to heal your heart and they want to move away from the emotional conflict for something peaceful they want to hold on to you <laughs> they know that you guys are a divine couple King of Swords, Queen of Swords, and they're over here obsessing over the fact that they did not make the offer in the past, and now they're carrying this burden towards you, the Queen of Wands, okay? And they're hoping that you make this decision, and that you guys can have victory and success here. Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave this here until next time. Ooh, if it resonates with you, let me know down in the description box, I mean in the comment box. If you're interested in booking, buying, leaving a tip or donation, you can get all that information down below in the description box. Don't forget to click the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscription button. Hit the bell for all who have bought and who, ah, I don't know what's going on, y'all. For all who have bought from me, booked from me, have left me tips or donations, left me comments, hit the thumbs up, left a subscription. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is greatly appreciated, guys. It means so much to me. And I'm sending love and light back out to you guys. You keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. And until next time, ah, Bye, my babies.